All right, so through the magic of editing, I managed to precipitate out these crystals. So hopefully you can kind of see it in the video here that I've got a nice healthy set of crystals down here in the bottom. So now I'm going to get them out by, by vacuum filtration. This is very different than the gravity filtration you saw before. What we're going to use in this case is water aspiration. If you just high water flow rates, there you go, in order to create a cheap vacuum. So for this, I've got a pre-weighed piece of filter paper. I put it into the Buechner funnel. I'm going to get it nice and wet until it forms a seal. And you can see now where it's starting to draw the water through. You can see the water in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my crystals into the flask. I'm going to do this kind of slowly. What I don't want is to have them all kind of rush to the edge. And any crystals I have left over in this container, I'm going to hit with cold deionized water. Honestly, you can't go too much with too much DI water. Um, it more just kind of becomes practical issues at some point. See, so yeah, I'm going to get the sucker good and washed out. And you can see I've got good filtration. I don't see any crystals really coming through to the bottom. And I am going to have some stuck, stuff stuck to the flask. This is just going to be an inherent loss. But yeah, I'm going to cut the video off now and give it a little bit of time to dry out. And we'll weigh it, we'll weigh it on the um, scale. So I get a lot of students that ask me what's the best way to get these things, to get the filter paper out, particularly in a situation like this where we got a lot of crystals. So what I really recommend for this is put it onto a pre-weighed, watch glass and we're going to use this watch glass to weigh the material and just kind of turn it over i'm sorry there's really no good way to show you this process while i'm doing it but basically just kind of turn it upside down scrape out the crystals and you're always going to have that little bit you can't get out that's just going to have to be reported losses And yeah, that's just gonna be what you end up losing when you do the filtration. Now, recommendation here is that you dry this on a watch clap, a hot plate for a little while. Now you can scrape this solid off and in principle you can weigh it as is. Nothing inherently wrong with that. These crystals should be pretty dry when you get down to it. You see I spill a little bit on the counter here. But you can also see this is kind of a, a glossy piece of filter paper here. So there's still acid analyte on this material. And if we try to weigh this, it's going to be super wet. So what I'd recommend is drying on a hot plate. Um, in this case, low, lowish setting, three to four. <coughs> Make sure it doesn't get so hot that you see the acid analyte melt. But definitely give it a little time and go until that filter paper acts like a dry sheet of paper. So that dry sheet, that filter paper there acts like it's dry.